this video is about isoquinoline preparation um, the first method was shown in my previous video and the second method is pickle spengler method uh, here starting material is also beta phenylethylamine uh, the preparation of beta phenylethylamine was uh, discussed in the earlier video now we will go to directly the sequence of the reaction the sequence of the reaction is here beta phenyl ethylamine will react with a uh, aldehyde in presence of acid then the product formed was aromatized by palladium carbon or sulfur or selenium and our required product uh, one alkyl derivative or one uh, alkyl derivative of isoquinoline will form the sequence is beta phenyl ethylamine plus one aldehyde plus H plus then this will form then by aromatizing with palladium carbon we will get the isoquinone this is the isoquinone now if we want to if we want to form this then we will take acetone as uh, uh, CH3 in presence in place of R acetone as the aldehyde sorry uh, CH3 in place of R means acetaldehyde in presence in uh, place of uh, aldehyde we will take acetaldehyde then we will get this product the mechanism is at first beta phenyl ethylamine will react with this aldehyde this oxygen will takes up this H plus then a positive charge will generate upon oxygen and this bond will rotate and a positive charge now generate upon carbon and this will be neutralized by the lone pair of nitrogen of I um, beta phenyl ethylamine now this OH now taking a H plus form OH2 positive and by breaking this hydrogen and nitrogen bond uh, OH2 will leave as living group and then this will form now a positive charge is generated upon nitrogen and this can be neutralized by breaking of this bond and now a positive charge generated upon carbon which can be neutralized by the electrons of benzene nucleus by a neighboring group participation reaction this will happen now positive charge will generate there actually the reaction is like that here it is here and this was this compound this compound is like this actually and this will attack and this bond will rotates and ultimately a positive charge will generate in this position Now this hydrogen bond will break to maintain the aromaticity and this will form now by giving palladium carbon or selenium or sulfur we will get the isoquinoline derivative. Thank you.